as a dry cold front enters the area. These are the eight.
and we've got a, someone coming and think about the siren, so. <laughs> Hello. How you doing? Good. You're the new neighbor, right? Hang on a second. You're the new neighbor, right? Huh? You're the new neighbor, right? No. Oh, sorry. That was the one that was the one that was the one that Okay. That was one, that was the most epic siren test I ever did. Anyways, I'm just going to show you how the setup works, how we set up the siren. Thunderbolt, uh. Here's the blower. It's I think it's a 5M. Uh, and this is I think this is a yeah I already asked that. This is a single phase, 240 volt, 43 amp motor. Yeah, it requires that much the power to hold thing. The Thunderbolt itself came from Brendan Williamson. That's how I got it. Turns out we painted it back to yellow since he had it previously pa painted white. Yes, it looks good. It's not perfect. I know there's some green. That's the paint. I tried painting it bright yellow as possible, but it just didn't work. It didn't work out, so I'm gonna leave it the way it is. I do have two silver defense stickers, I just haven't put on it yet. I was gonna do it yesterday, but it was raining, so I didn't want to ruin the stickers in the rain while putting on, so. And the blower itself is connected to uh, an AC blower unit, I think. I've, and the chopper motor is connected to the, uh, the air conditioner unit itself. I apologize for the wind. It's been, real, it's been windy. It's going to be a windy day today. And the reason why I couldn't run the rotor is because of the window and my parents did not want me the chance of breaking it. So that's the reason, this window right here. I really wanted to, but I couldn't. So, uh, and about the person who showed up, that was actually a neighbor who hasn't heard this thing before, that, who lives not that, that far from here. Just Well, you see the house over here? Uh, he lives across that road from the house. Not at the house, but he lives across the road from the house. He has, he, heard, he has heard the 2130 before, but not the Thunderbolts, so. And right now I'm going to show where the blower motor is wired up to. Or it was wired up, he has it disconnected. No, it's still connected. Never mind. This is what it's wired to. This is the black wire that you saw from the blower. This is what's connected to. So, it, okay. I forgot to tell you all, the blower is connected to a 60 amp breaker. So, it, the, the blower did not catch fire, or not, the wires, so it went well. Please know it was wired by my father, instead of me. So, oh yeah. On the video, when the thunderbolt was gonna, gonna, when the blower was gonna turn on, uh, the the whole house power was trying to get power to it. It affected the Model Two T. And look, this is a great view of the thunderbolt. And the blower cover is off because my father is showing it to that neighbor. He's not a new neighbor. He's one. He's he lived here for a long time, so. I'll just be shaky. And these are the weather radios that went off. But before I can, well, I'll just show you all the, the setup. The, oh no, this is a circuit breaker, sorry. I'll show you where the chopper motor is connected. It is connected to the AC unit itself. See the wire runs. Uh, Right, oh yeah, has it disconnected? It was wired somewhere around here, so I just couldn't believe it worked. Well, I think I can fire the blower, but I don't know. 
It, well, I think it will. So, if you're still watching the vid this video, the ending, I'll just show a quick bonus about these. In case you're all like, like Reva radios. This is just Reva radios. Just want to show you all. Uh, the one that, that was trying to start out made a weird stack sound and it makes an alarm. This was actually the, this one. This one doesn't work very well. I think this antenna's loose or something. I don't know. I couldn't believe it worked. It hasn't ever worked before receiving its first alert. I got this back February from Goodwill. See, see it doesn't work very well. Well, when the antenna's like this. See? It doesn't work very well. Anyways, moving on. Uh, the Sparmer County sent their activation to the sirens, which is from this scanner. It's currently off. Who cares? The one that was still going off after that's still playing the message is actually this one. And I think this is pretty much it. Uh, oh, the model of this one is a W120 Easy, whatever, uh, Radio Shack 1250. W100B, uh, this one's K123, and this one's, uh, uh, just a little bit, please, 74250. This is all, but I like this really good. I, that's the first time I heard it doing its warning tone. So, uh, I was supposed to use this to receive, uh, but I forgot to turn it on, I wasn't able to. Okay, the sudden's not right. Here's some shock. All of the, uh, the weather radios are set to, uh, or, or the frequency is set to 155.5.0 millihertz. Uh, it's on this, the Greenville County signal, so, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not very good. Uh, this is what the this serves the upstate, and this is from the Greenwald Farmberg office. That's what's running on. So that was in this radio right here was supposed to be used, but wasn't able to actually turn it on and try to get any ES alerts. I don't think they would do it because of last year they didn't send out the the ES alert. I don't understand, but I didn't do it. Yeah, this is the camera that I was using to record the videos. It were the camera's actually leaning a bit, unfortunately. I wasn't able to fix it. I saw it leaning, but wasn't able to fix it. So this is what I used. Since that's my only option. It doesn't work very well. This is the only mount I can mount it. At least worked. So okay, I think this is it. That was the first W 100s first title warning, so, or warning message from the actual alert. This one. If you're ever looking for a, a Weber radio, I highly recommend getting this. This is a really good one. They're, they're like $30 at Walmart or other stores. Just depends. I just recommend this. So, Alright, just gonna end the video since it's been going a long time. I hope you like the setup. We will wire it to the RCM. I don't know when I was when we moved to the backyard. And it will be hooked up to the air timer. I want to set it on seven for fun, but I don't know if it's gonna work. If you more of this will be in the description. Have a great day and thank you for watching. My trains and sirens won.